here we are on our retro gaming PC which is a Athlon 64 we have 256 megabytes of RAM and a Netgear network card and what is really cool about WebDAV is it works straight out of the box we don't need to install any special software or drivers or patches when we mapped a folder on our NAS under Windows 98 we had to use the SMB1 protocol and I got a lot of comments about security risks. Now with WebDAV that's not necessary. We can leave it at SMB2 or even 3. So here is the WebDAV service and you just have to make sure it is enabled and take note of these two port numbers. The locker store for NAS has two Ethernet ports. I'm using the top one. It plugs into a router which gives me internet access and all my modern machines are connected through Ethernet or Wi-Fi. The second Ethernet port I'm using another router to build a retro LAN. This one has no internet access. The two networks are totally separated. All I'm doing is accessing the NAS to install games, drivers and benchmarks. What we're going to do next is just launch Internet Explorer once because it will pop up with a wizard and we're just going to answer a few questions here and then we are good to go. And because we don't have any internet access on this network, it's just going to time out. To connect to the NAS, we open the file explorer, click on web folders, add web folder and now we enter the path of our shared folder http colon two forward slashes the name of my NAS which is Phil's NAS colon then the port which is 9800 another forward slash and then the name of the share I'm using retro games and let's see there you go it's prompting us for the username and password PCL and my password and there we go we can now give our web folder a name it will show up uh, over here and here are all our games so these are uh, GUG games that are purchased that run under Windows 98 and yeah we can grab one of those games and just copy it onto our desktop a really nice surprise is that you can launch executables directly. I uh, did not expect this so you just select this option here um, and yeah that is quite convenient. What you can't do you will not have a drive letter so if you're using for example uh, daemon tools and you want to mount images across the network unfortunately this does not work with web dev. Let's have a quick look at performance. I have here a PC Mark Vantage file it's around yeah just under 700 megabytes we will first test with fast Ethernet with the Netgear adapter and then switch to gigabit so I'm just gonna drag this onto the desktop and then we switch over to the NAS and have a look at the activity monitor so here we are on the NAS and we can see we're getting around 11 megabytes per second on the LAN 2 which is uh, the second Ethernet port so this is the upload that confirms that the NAS is sending information to our retro gaming PC. It does fluctuate a little bit. Uh, what I've seen in the past from this Ethernet adapter we're getting usually around between 8 to 9 megabytes per second. So we are back and we can see here our gigabit PCI network adapter. So we run the same test, we grab the file and then switch over to the NAS to see what sort of performance we are getting. So we are back on the NAS and we can definitely see we're getting higher performance. This is the history of the fast, fast Ethernet PCI controller and here we are with gigabit. So yeah, around 20, 25 megabytes per uh, second and we can see, yeah, it took a lot less. So the data transfer in, yeah, less than half the time. Now I have heard there are some tools to optimize Windows 98 network performance apparently it's an issue with the network stack being quite unoptimized if you know something about that please let me know I would love to hear from you something I also noticed with WebDAV is the data ends up in a temporary folder if you go to 
well, the Windows folder and then temporary internet files you will find the files um, cached or buffered temporarily in this folder and then the machine will copy it uh, to the destination so yeah not quite as fast as uh, mapping a drive directly and also not as fast as FTP but it is quite convenient being able to browse um, your NAS like that and yeah guys that's it for this video let me know what do you think about using WebDAV with Windows 98 have you used it before uh, what is your method of transferring files over the network or do you use sneaker net using USB flash drives hard drives or yeah like I often do just uh, shutting the machine down removing the hard drive and connecting it to a USB hard drive adapter and copying the games that way either way I'd love to hear from you give me feedback Give it a thumbs up, sub to the channel if you haven't done so already and you find this stuff interesting and yeah, otherwise I shall see you soon with another one.